Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. Hope you guys are doing great. And if you are new to this particular channel, then check out our channel. And if you like this contents, and if you want to know more about trading and learn about trading, then you can hit the subscribe button and be part of the Smart Trader family. And today we are going to discuss about the technical dashboard of uh, Zeroda. And uh, I'll be showing you how it looks and what are the features we can use. And if you're already using, great. And if you're not yet used, then I'll be showing you how to use it. So simple. So this is your uh, Zeroda uh, website, a web portal, okay, trading account. And uh, for the ones who don't have an account, if you really want to open an account in Zeroda, you can click the link in video description and open your account through us. So without wasting time, let's see how the technical dashboard looks and how you can take certain advantages from this. Now for that, you need to just click on any of the stocks. Uh, if you don't know how to check out the stock, just type here, whichever stock you want to type here. Okay, you can add a stock to your list. After adding that, you can just click on the more button and here you have an option called technicals. So If you click on this technicals, you will come into this particular area, but you have to click on this market technicals where it will go directly to the dashboard. So this is a zero the portal where you can check out uh, powered by streak. So you have all the information over here. So you don't have to do uh, spend more time on research because for a trader, you need to research and you need to monitor. So these type of research uh, by these type of options, uh, the time taken is reduced. So it is one way very good. Uh, things are getting faster for us to identify stocks and see what's happening in the market. So this is how it looks now. Here it is the basic information if you see here the top gainers, top losers or let's say in which stock the volume is breaking out compared to its previous average or which stock is having a range breakout on a certain range which is breaking that level of leather, let's say high breakout or low breakouts and so on. So here you have the option of uh, Nifty 500 or Nifty 100 so you can change and decide which one you want or let's say you want to trade in futures and options of equity let's say you can see the top gainers of those stocks or let's say you are doing an options you're an options trader then you can go to nifty options let's say you have all the top gainers top losers uh, strike prices and uh, if you see here volume breakouts range breakouts and the uh, best part is you have this nifty options let's say the call option put option and with the highest open interest and highest volume you can identify the strike price here directly so these are the options over here and uh, you have the time frame also so you can change the time frame 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes and track which are the stocks which are moving doing good in this time frame or based on your strategy or you will be knowing your analysis right so try to find your time frame you want to scalp with 5 minutes 10 minutes then you'll get to know which are the stocks performing and breaking out uh, on so on all right so these are the things and for example, let's say Amber is a stock uh, which had a breakout, let's say volume breakout today and almost a 6% movement today. So we already had the stock in our list and uh, portfolio. So we may be booking that today. Apart from that, if you see here, uh, we have this advances and decline information. So let's say 294 in Nifty 500, we have 294 advances and 201 declines. And overall Nifty 500 is in a, somewhere in the neutral zone over here, if you see. And if you come down, we have a heat map. Okay, now let's say this uh, 294 and 201 looks like okay, it is positive. But if you see here, let's say this is Nifty 500, Nifty 50. Okay, even though if it is 50 50, also if you see the heat map, you can see the Reliance, TCS, Infi, and all this have bigger boxes because the weightage is more in Nifty 50 stocks. So I've clicked on Nifty 50 here. You can change it to Nifty 100, Nifty Bank also. So if you see overall in, an, in your eyes, if you see here, most of them are dominated by red. Even let's say if there is 25 uh, positive and 25 negative, but most of the weightages also are negative, right? Red color. So by seeing only you can say, okay, the market is somewhere today. There is a bearish trend in the market. Most of them are pulling down or keeping the market in red. The sentiments are in red. And if most of the dominating are in green, then you know the market sentiments are in green. So this is a heat map and if you want to know on a particular stock what's happening let's say SBI and what's happening on SBI and click on it so it will open the dashboard now stock specific you can check out the overall summary to get to know what are the support and resistance now currently somewhere it is near in the support too all right so you get to know the levels of support too and all that of your stock then if you want to know what are your moving average levels let's say EMA and SMA simple moving average and exponential moving average where it stands and it's saying it's bearish or let's say using oscillators like RSI and stochastic 
So what is the summary of those? It is still saying bearish on this particular stock and so on. So like this stock specific also you will get to know what is the technicals of your stock and overall what is the market sentiments whether it is you're trading in equity or let's say you're doing in uh, options trading all that you get all those informations from this particular area so it is pretty simple so most of the things what a trader wants uh, to check out let's say a breakout a volume breakout stocks for a certain time frame or you want to know what is the let's say swing trader you want to know what is the technicals of the stocks for uh, on a day basis you get to know all this information by just one click so Things are more easier now directly from Zeroda. Uh, let's say before we used to go to a different website and check the details. Now they have operated these uh, features. So people who are not using it, I just wanted you guys to start using it if you have missed it and all that. And um, for the ones who wants to use it in your mobile kite app, then uh, I will be doing a shorts video so you can check out that also. So hope this uh, video helped you guys and if you have not yet used this Zeroda technical dashboard then kindly use this it is going to help you out. It, it may take time for you initially to understand what are the things just write it down do paper trading or do uh, small practices you get to know how you can take advantage. So see you soon with one more learning video till then take care stay safe.